Here's how to cheat on your partner. Wear a ski mask whenever you sleep with a stranger. If you haven't got a ski mask, a, a bala, any, any balaclava or tightly wrapped scarf will do the trick. If you find someone that you want to sleep with, get yourself into a blackout state and make sure that that other person will also be in a blackout state as well. Create a job for yourself that allows you to travel like professional gambler. Bookies are everywhere, so now you can be anywhere in the country whilst you're actually out looking for sexual partners. Your partner will be comfortable thinking that you're less likely to encounter women because you're always in and out of bookies and always on the road. But little does she know, you know all the married men in the bookies and you know that when they're also working in the bookies, their wives are at home alone, desperate for attention. And you already know she's going to be into you because you're a professional winner. Become a milkman in multiple areas and then outsource your work, giving them three quarters of your pay per round. This means that you can get out of the house early every day. Plus, you have a valid excuse for the phone tracking app flashing up in different areas that your partner's installed. To make the other half less suspicious, make sure you have a very, very poor diet so they believe that you may actually have to stop off at all these different places to go to the toilet frequently. Now, this can be achieved by either eating and drinking loads of dairy or lots of spicier food than your stomach can handle. Buy a van and get it regularly rewrapped by professionals. People love a van and the people driving them and all. Vans are useful and it tells people around that you can be trusted so you can drive slowly around residential areas and shout at pedestrians from the window offering them to help them move out when they need it so long as they put their mouths on your genitals. Develop yourself a new friendship group that all believe you're asexual. Then, when you meet a new person that you want to cheat on, only ever socialise with this friendship group when they're around. Enter into a relationship with this very understanding soul. And then, whenever you sleep with someone else, they'll never believe it because why would you lie to, to them and all of your friends? Buy some wigs and prosthetic face parts and, and, and just wear them whenever you go out on the pull. Only sleep with people who really can't afford to be found sleeping with you. Family members, their family members, local political characters. Adopt yourself a very short person, but tell all your loved ones that they're a lot younger than they are, so that they believe you've adopted a child, except what you've actually done is adopt a little adult who just wants to have secretive yet very consensual sex with you without your partner noticing. Start a business that revolves around semi-talented children and instead of doing what some people do, where, you know, they, they rape their kids, instead of traumatising the children, you could actually tell the parents that if they, the parents, perform sex acts on you, maybe you'll be able to help their child progress further in their chosen field. The time spent away from your partner can always be put down to practice or simply networking for the group's benefit. And that's the end of this week's Here's How. If you enjoyed this and you want to hear more, go and join the Patreon. There's exclusive episodes now. There's videos and that as well. There's new stuff on the website. There's my new book. Or, you know, leave a review if you don't want to spend any money. Just leave a review and maybe share this with a mate. And hopefully then more people will be reached by it and then more people know about my show. I'll see you in a bit. Thanks for, thanks for giving it a go.